Not too long ago, Megyn Kelly attacked Disney for daring to say that they're going to try to be more inclusive of gays and lesbians in upcoming movies and television shows, and Megyn Kelly did not like that, and she melted down and went on a homophobic rant. But after that homophobic rant, just like a week or so later, now she's going to white knight for gay men, all in a transparent attempt to throw trans women under the bus. So let's take a look at what she has to say. Right now, we're looking at children on puberty blockers, right? We're looking at men beating the hell out of women in in biological men beating the hell out of women in their own sports what is next and i think mm -hmm. that's a very important question it's not a logical fallacy to say a slippery slope we are on a slope period if the left has their way on this i think it's a fascinating where, question because i i've talked to a lot of gay and lesbian friends who have said like i don't totally get why the t is at the end of lgbt you know, and the Q and all right. like the interests aren't necessarily aligned. And in fact, if you look at like the trans activists, like the crazy trans and not like normal, like whatever, but the crazy trans activists are so vicious and they, they they're basically kind of doing conversion therapy on young gay men instead of you're not gay, you're trans, you're secretly a girl. It's better to be trans than to be queer than to be than to be gay. Just just say that you're a girl and then you can get rid of that whole gay thing and we're seeing more and more of this abigail schreier writes about it in her book i've had lots of people on the show talking about it so there is a question about whether the interests of the gay community are aligned in the way that glad would have us believe and whether glad's right. lost the the real scope of its original mission oh wow i'm just i'm so fucking touched that megan kelly cares so much about gay men i mean what was it like a week or two ago you implied that we're all pedophiles who want to groom your kids but i'm really happy that you've done this 180 so quick and all of a sudden you care about gay people wow very very um genuine change of heart there megan kelly and she has gay friends so she's definitely not homophobic these people are so disingenuous so transparent i feel like if you had any self-awareness you'd be embarrassed to say that but i mean it's megan kelly it's conservatives so they have no shame whatsoever. So the crux of her argument here, the main thing that I wanted to talk about is how she believes that really, you know, these these trans activists, some of them are very vicious. They're preying on gay men. These gay men who are sacred, we have to protect them. They're preying on gay men. She says they're basically doing conversion therapy on young gay men. You're not gay. This is what uh, trans people are apparently telling gay people. This is not happening, by the way, but this is what she says they're telling gay men. Uh, you're not gay. You're not. You're trans. You're secretly a girl. It's better to be trans uh, than to be queer, than to be gay. Just say you're a girl and then you can get rid of the whole gay thing. That's not, this, this is not happening. I don't know what else to say. Um, if you can find me one anecdote, I'll be surprised. Find me 10. I mean, I'll, I'll eat this fucking microphone, but this is not a thing that's happening. She's making that up. This is what conservatives do. They make things up. I mean, Megyn Kelly is the person who had a tantrum on Fox News at the prospect that kids might think that Santa wasn't white. No, he's definitely white, kids. He's not black. So, I mean, of course, she's already proven to people that she is deceitful and she makes things up. So she's making that up. And that's not the way that homosexuality works, right? So I, at a very young age, knew that I was gay. Maybe from like age five or eight. I remember having conversations about my mom that I didn't want a girlfriend. I wanted a boyfriend. And she'd say, well, no, you're a boy. You're supposed to have a girlfriend. Uh, you know, and I'd say, no, that's not that's not what I want. I want to have a boyfriend when I grow up, not a girlfriend, uh, because that's just what came natural to me. But at no point in my life when I was realizing that I'm possibly gay, did I think maybe I'm a girl because I I don't have gender dysphoria. I never thought maybe this isn't homosexuality. Maybe this is just me wanting to be a girl. That's not what's happening. It's not like gender dysphoria or being transgender is some corrupted version of homosexuality. If that's actually what you think is the case, then that proves that you don't know anything about either. And this is a new thing that transphobes are trying to do. For example, J.K. Rowling tweeted out an article written by a gay man titled The New Homophobia. And basically the gist of this article was that trans people are corrupting gays and lesbians into being trans and that this is homophobia. So look out for this. Transphobes are going to feign concern over gay rights and homosexuality and this is all a pathetic attempt to attack trans people and throw trans people under the bus but let me make one thing very clear to jk rowling and megan kelly 
You are not our allies. You are not my friend. I reject your support. Fuck you, okay? LGBTQ plus people, like, this isn't some kind of a buffet. You can't pick and choose what you like. Oh, I like the B. I like bisexuals and I like lesbians, but I don't like gays and trans people. Or I like trans people, but I don't like non-binary people. Like, you don't get to pick and choose who you want. Queer people are a package deal. If you don't support some of us, then you don't support all of us effectively. Because queer people are all linked by the way that we're discriminated against. And she touched on this, right? She said, you know, I've talked to a lot of gays and lesbians, and, you know, they, they don't really get why the T is at the end of LGBT. The interests aren't necessarily aligned, except that's where you're wrong. Queer people, all queer people, regardless if you are transgender, non-binary, gay, bisexual, we're linked because we defy gender norms. So if you are born with a penis, then you're supposed to act in a very certain way. You're supposed to be very masculine, according to society, right? You're supposed to be masculine, play with trucks, uh, you're supposed to like the color blue, and you're supposed to be interested in women sexually and romantically, and because in some way, gay, trans, non-binary people, queer people deviate from these norms, well, society doesn't like that. And they try to bully them back in line with their ascribed, uh, you know, expectations. So that's why we're all in the same community. And I don't really like the whole acronym LGBTQ plus itself because it makes it seem as if it's customizable where you can take the T off at the end and that's acceptable. No, the queer community is the queer community because we're discriminated against, because we don't live up to the expectations that society ascribes to us at birth. In fact, the gay rights movement wouldn't exist had it not been for trans women. The whole movement was catalyzed by two transgender women, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. Without them, without trans women, we might not have rights today. So to attack trans people and fight against their existence under the guise of protecting gay men, that is so deceitful, so dishonest that anyone who does that should be confronted because that's not acceptable. You're, you're a piece of shit. You're filth if you do that. Now, I actually responded to J.K. Rowling about that. And can you guess the way that her transphobic fans responded to me? Oh, well, you're homophobic. I'm homophobic. <laughs> so this is what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to pit members of the LGBTQ plus community against each other. And this is all to attack trans people. So I reject Megyn Kelly's dishonest and deceitful attempt to try to pit gay men against trans people. That's disgusting. Now, she also made a comment that actually pissed me off. She said, uh, the crazy trans activists are so vicious. Like she was trying to differentiate from the regular trans activists uh, and the vicious trans activists. Uh, because, you know, when you are denying people's rights and literally fighting against their right to exist, then there's this expectation that they should be polite to you and respectful as you spit in their face. No, fuck you, Megyn Kelly. The vicious activists in all of these communities, they're usually the ones that catapult the movement forward, right? And sure, you need a mix, right? You need a Malcolm X and a Martin Luther King Jr. But for you to just scoff at the vicious trans activists, how dare you be a little bit too mm, outspoken, about the way that we're fucking you over. Shut the fuck up, Megan Kelly. You're a multimillionaire. You've never worried about anything a day in your life. You're a privileged white princess and you're straight and you're cis. So, you know, it's easy for you to talk about how vicious others are because the prospect of accepting them somehow feels like oppression to you. But spare me your outrage, okay? Fuck your civility politics. In fact, I think that uh, LGBTQ plus people need to be even more impolite given how, you know, all of a sudden, you and your ilk conservatives have decided to just target this community and and make this what you're going to run on in 2022 fuck you megan kelly god what a piece of shit now i want to touch on what steven crowder said uh steven crowder said right now we're looking at children on puberty blockers uh we're looking at men beating the hell out of women what is next what's the slippery slope um the end game is literally just equality and acceptance that's it equality and acceptance and puberty blockers is something that in theory they should support because they say that they don't want children having irreversible surgeries which that doesn't happen by the way but puberty blockers are a reversible thing that you can give to adolescents while they're still wondering who they really are it's a thing that 
helps them. And yet you're like, no, 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 bad. But also, you know, irre irreversible surgery is bad. It reminds me of the, uh, like, contraception bad, but also abortion bad, when contraception is the thing that prevents abortions. Like, conservatives want to have their cake and eat it too. They just want to make sure that they erase trans people out of existence. And when they get that, that's when they're happy. But they will never get that because we, were n we will never let them have that dub. And he says that, you know, we're looking at men beating the hell out of women. Really? Is that really happening? Are trans women dominating all sports? First and foremost, there's no such thing as a fair game. There are biological advantages and disadvantages between cis men, right? If I chose to play basketball, I can guarantee to you, I'm going to be one of the shortest men on that team. Do I get to screech about biological advantages that my cis teammates have? No, I don't get to do that because there's no such thing as a perfectly fair game. And what they're really targeting is high schoolers and middle schoolers. And at that point, it's a fucking game. It's about socialization, not about them trying to become professional athletes. So all of these issues, like they find one trans woman, and, and this is how you know that trans women aren't actually destroying women's sports like they claim, because every time they find one of them, they have to talk about that one trans woman for like a year, right? But if this were actually happening on a regular basis, they wouldn't have to cherry pick these specific examples as to whether or not, oh, this one trans woman is dominating specifically because she's trans. Never mind all the times that she gets her ass beat by the cis women, but this one time where she won, like this proves that trans people are a threat to women and we should probably try to erase them out of society. Like it's just these people are so fucking petulant, so fearful of just accepting people who they don't understand and it's just, it's so transparent. So look, this is going to be something that we continue to see. The GOP has decided that bringing back the pedophile myth, bringing back uh, transphobia into the mainstream, where it's actually explicit transphobia, it's not them just hiding behind protecting women. Like this is vicious transphobia that we're seeing. This is hate. And we're going to see this again because that's what the GOP has decided to make their uh, mission for 2022 to throw red meat to the base. But what we have to do is push back relentlessly and vociferously. And if you're an ally to the queer community, then do everything in your power to elevate their voices. And we'll leave that there. Megan Kelly is a clown. She's no friend to gay people. Uh, she can go fuck herself. Like what, what a trash person trying to pretend to care about gay men, trying to white knight for gay men who she thinks are all pedophiles. Fuck you, Megan Kelly.